Alrighty gang, this video is to help us understand how to multiply by a two digit whole number and by um, two digit decimal using the standard way of multiplying. So I'm going to multiply the number 14,632 times 24. <clears throat> I'm going to start with my ones place value. So I'm always <clears throat> I'm going to multiply each number on the top row by 4. So I'm going to take 4 and I'll multiply that by 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Next, I'm going to multiply 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. So I put my 2 down here. I have to carry my 1. Now I'm going to take 4 times 6, and I'm going to add my 1. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 1 is 25. I'm going to carry my 2 again. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 is 18. Put my 8 down there, I carry my 1. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5. That's my first row. That looks exactly like multiplying by one digit. Only thing I have to remember for double digit is that I am going to need to add a 0 in my 1's place. So I'm going to add a 0 in as a placeholder because now I'm multiplying by the 2, which is really like multiplying by 20. So I need to put a zero in for the place value. This is the most important thing to remember. Zero in that place value. So now I'm going to take two times two. Two times two is four. I keep all my numbers nice and lined up. Two times three is six. Two times six is twelve. The 2 down here, I'm going to have to carry my 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 2 times 1 is 2. Let's see, let's use purple. Now I'm going to add up both of these rows together. I'm going to have 8 plus 0 is 8. 4 and 2 is 6. 6 and 5 is 11. It's going to be 11 again. It's going to be 15. I decimal place decimal always goes to the right of my ones place value so I have an imaginary decimal point here I'm going to go over one two three that's my first period that's how I know where to put my comma so my final answer is 351,168 that is using the standard multiplication method to find the answer to a two digit multiplication problem all right, now you have a chance to try your own. You're going to take, so right now you can press pause. You're going to take 974 times 27. So you press pause, figure out the answer, and then we're going to go over it together. <clears throat> First thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply 7 times 4. 7 times 4 is 28. I'll carry my 2. 7 times 7 is 49, plus 2 is 51. Nine times seven is 63, plus five gives me 68. Now, don't forget, I'm going to need to add a zero here. 
because I'm multiplying by the 2 now, so I've got to add a 0 into my placeholder. Now I'm going to take 2 times 4, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 7 is 14. So I need to carry my 1 up here. 2 times 9 is 18, plus 1 is 19. Notice how I'm keeping all of my place values lined up. Now when I add these together, I'm going to get an answer of 8 plus 0 is 8, 9, 8 plus 4 is 12. It's going to be Sixteen, two, three places over. I put my comma. My final answer should be twenty-six thousand two hundred ninety-eight. Again, that's using the standard multiplication method to multiply by a two-digit whole number. Now we're going to look at multiplying by two-digit decimals using the standard multiplication method. So. Now I'm going to have four hundredths multiplied by two. Easy trick that we've already learned. I'm going to look at my basic multiplication fact here. Um, so I've got, let me get my pen back out. So I've got two times four. Two times four is eight. Two times zero is zero. My decimal point. So my final answer is going to be eight hundredths. I know that's right because here I have one, oops, one, two decimals behind my decimal point. That means I should have one, two numbers behind my decimal point. All right. Now why don't you try this one by yourself? 13 and 7 tenths times 24 thousandths. So try that by yourself and we'll go over the right answer. So now would be a good time to pause your video. Alright, again, we're going to just multiply this like we normally would if it is a whole number. So I'm not going to worry about my decimal points yet. So I'm going to take 4 times 7. 4 times 7 is 28, I carry my 2. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14, carry my 1. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 gives me 5. Again, I have to add a 0 in. I'm now multiplying by the 2, so I need to add a 0 down here. Now I'm going to multiply 2 times 7. That's 14. Carry my 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. And then I have 2 times 1 is 2. Notice how I'm keeping all of my place values lined up. I'm going to add both of these numbers together. Once I add both of my numbers together, I'm going to have 8, 8, 2, carry my 1, 3. Now, Here's, here's the only part that's different when I'm multiplying by a decimal. I now have to count, how again, how many decimals are to the right of my decimal point. How many numbers are to the right of my decimal point. So I have one, two, three, four numbers to the right of my decimal point. So in my final answer, I should have one, two, three, four numbers to the right of my decimal point. So I have 
one, two, three, four numbers to the right of my decimal point. And that is multiplying by a two-digit decimal.